Hi, my name is Anne-Marie Armstrong. I'm an assistant professor teaching stream at uh, Daniels. Um, and today I'm sharing with you the book that I most recently read. Uh, that book is Good Night Moon by Margaret Weiss Brown and Clement Hurd, who uh, illustrated the book. And um, it's the book I most recently read because my 18 month old daughter is a big fan of this book, as am I. Um, and I thought that it was actually quite applicable to a sort of architectural uh, discussion as well. Um, and so both her and I gain a lot of pleasure from this book and I'd like to speak a little bit about it in the context of our school. Um, so, and what we do in terms of spatial practice. So this book is in many ways um, very architectural and spatial. Um, if you're not familiar with it, it's, it's a classic, but um, uh, it is all set in one great green room. So the story revolves around the objects that exist in this room and uh, we get to sort of deeply observe the space. And I find it to be really intriguing in that way in terms of developing a practice of careful observation, understanding scale, understanding time and, and the sort of temporal change of a space over time. We follow uh, the protagonist who's a rabbit as that rabbit uh, sort of tries to avoid bedtime by observing various objects in the room, repeating them, returning to them um, at different scales and, and in different ways. Um, and I think that one thing to take away from this book is that, um, and I don't mean to share this book in jest, but just to say that it perhaps allows us to um, reflect upon and deeply observe or take note of how everyday spaces that you know, you may take for granted, for example, such as this little rabbit, um, are replete with story, memory, scale, the passage of time, etc. And that we can learn a lot from these spaces and, and think about how we could take them into to our own sort of practices of design. Uh, so again, uh, a wonderful book, um, you know, finding those um, opportunities for inspiration within uh, uh, literature that may not be uh, necessarily in our, in our Daniels library, but that are things that we can learn, of, uh, learn from and, and observe uh, in our daily lives. Thank you.